And we are getting underway. So I'll quickly run through it again for you. This is the first match of Season 5 of the Squad Community Cup. And we're going to be getting going with some beautiful action here between YW and Help. On Kokan Valley AAS V1. Just as soon as the map actually changes for me. Don't you just love the first stream of a new season? When all the technical difficulties are out there waiting for you to just slam right in there. But without further ado, let's get going! So here's your map for the day. While I'm waiting for the squads to form up, we're going to quickly run through the vehicular assets. So I'll be following the Russian team tonight, starting with YW. In their vehicle pool, we have two BTR-80 APCs and two BRDM-2 Scout cars, both equipped with the big 14.5mm machine gun and a little baby 7.62mm machine gun. Supporting that, we have three logistics trucks and after six minutes, a transport truck. On the British side, we have three Bulldog APCs, the open-top tracked vehicles with the 50 cal machine guns that can take a billion hits, and three logistic trucks and a delayed spawn transport truck. Now, let's just check that almost everyone is in a squad, so we should be good. Go ahead and do this. Now. Obviously, the team on my side are mostly German, or German-speaking. I can't promise I'm going to understand much of that squad lead comms, but I'm going to try. <laughs> right, let's get deployed. So, over here you can see the Russian main. Let's take a look at being deployed, shall we? So, early start-up, we have... Both of the BTRs, all three of the Lodgies, but no scout. Ah, looks like we are getting one scout car up. Alright. If we shuffle on down to say hello to the British, always good, there's a commander being voted for. We like, commander means booms. So if we take a look down here. We can see so far all three logistics trucks. At least one bulldog. And I guess we'll have to wait and see. You can have a few people milling around. Not quite sure where they want to go, you know. Normal start of match stuff. So if we take a little look at the map. Looks like YW are going to be nice and aggressive. Would you like to see a little bit of aggression? It's always spicy. So, we'll be getting underway in one minute and five seconds left of the staging phase. I can take a quick look. We have CG in command over on the help side. And we have Fleckensberg in command over on the YW side. <laughs> so, quick update here, we have what well, looks like both BRDMs being deployed. I should not have gone that close to that. Oof. Yes, both BRDMs, both BTRs, and all three Lodgies. And if we check in down here... For one last time... Can see that they are pretty much prepared for all three bulldogs and all three lodgies. Already deploying with all of the available assets then, so no matter what, there's gonna be some good good fights to start with. The armor squads do need to be a little bit wary because there are no remounts available for them. Every vehicle deploys, of course, and they die, and they've got nowhere to go afterwards. So, I'm going to shut up and let you enjoy the atmosphere for another... Never mind, that was a whole minute already? I thought I still had a staging phase left. My bad. So, as we truck along here behind the help forces, 
going to pop open the map to give the best view of where everybody's going. So we can see here both of the scout cars taking a fairly wide arc compared to the rest on the Russian side. Most of the forces are just plowing straight forwards towards Tempest Estate. This, by the way, Tempest, Market and Serac is usually where most of the fighting will be concentrated. See that we do have a squad setting up around first standing Grandel. Always good to see the defences online. And I'm going to quickly whip myself over here because we're about to have some first contact. It's one of the help squads deploying in the little village to the east of Tempest. That's good. Uh, However, a lot of YW deploying straight into Serac. This could be not ideal. Bulldog already Lodgy under quite a lot of fire. And a help Lodgy down. Doesn't like they managed to get the radio down either. So a very good first first shot by the YW forces. Although, a fair amount of help infantry are alive. Fly over to the east side. You can see a very strong help squad. Taking out small bits of contact and look like they get a about to start pushing in. Now, where did those scout cars end up? Let's go take a look. Got one here just watching, waiting, not hesitating. But if we look at Serac right now, I don't think there's any question who's in command here. We've got at least one Bulldog retreating. We've got one without its gunner right now. And another retreating under smoke. A very strong contingent of YW sitting there in Serac just waiting now. Of course, it's all well and good way uh, help pushing into Tempest. But they're not yeah, able to cap it if they can't cap Serac first. Haltet die Feinde in Schach beim bei dem Osten. Einfach in Schach halten. It's a beautiful machine gun fire coming out here across the open fields. That's what we love to see. That's how the machine gun should be used. Soll ich einfach Tempest bauen oder baut ihr noch einen auf Markt? And mortars appear to be going on wire. So it's like YW mortars onto this little compound here. And somebody else getting involved, but I don't know which team that is. I'm gonna assume it's YW, because if it's help, they're hitting friendlies, and that, that's not a good. Is that okay? So let's take a quick look. Stonebend and first stand were captured. Teams working on Grandel and Ruins respectively right now. Then comes Market and potentially Serac, but not optimistic about the chances there right now. Got a BTR 80 being very careful here, just backing away slightly. Probably a good shout. I reckon there's some AT getting ready to poke it up the bum. There we go. Ruins and Grandel fall. <laughs> Already got someone on market. And a badly hit BTR. Captain B felt they're doing the work with the rocket. Zurek is available for capture now, but is not being captured.
Now, what is this bulldog shooting at? Well, whatever it was shooting at, it's not going anywhere. Because she's trapped. So yes, Harax, uh, Serac still clear of the British forces. Market being fairly comfortably capped right now. Let's take a look at this BTR, see what state it's in. As one of the crew members goes down to the AT, but the AT goes down to the other one. Looks like it's only engine damage on the BTR. It may be able to get out and fight another day. As long as it crawls. You have a strong British presence inside Tempest, but it might not be enough. Well, the capture zones up real quickly. You can see there is still no British force inside Serac. Which means they can't capture. Uh, half house, move marker 7. Da's a ganze squad in das Gebäude drin und drumherum. So there's a market. Tempest will now be under capture by the Russians. Remember, all they need to do at this stage is keep one person alive in the cap. That's all they need for the capture. So let's take a look what sort of things we have on the rest of the map. We have some mortars down near first stand and up at Stone Bend. A scout car watching the flank. All sorts of little bits and pieces. Let's look at Serac again. No living British inside the cap and a lot of smoke falling. Though depending where that smoke is... Never mind, I know where the mortars are coming from now. I feel like somebody may be in a little bit of trouble after the moment. <laughs> so the main point of contention then, Tempest State, it looks like the British have realized what's happening because they've stopped trying to force people in. Just one British survivor within Tempest right now, that is Crane 44, but plenty of YW. I should really call them YV, given that they're mostly German speakers. And there we have the cap of Tempest, which means the Herifus Witnesses now capturing Serac. If they take this, they will have nearly a 100 ticket lead within the first 15 to 20 minutes of the game. And that is going to be tough to come back from. Not impossible, I've seen it happen, but tough. There's the call out of Bulldog incoming. Do YW have enough rockets? Does anyone ever have enough rockets, I suppose is the real question. Might not be much of an issue because there's no gunner on this vehicle. And Rambo is living up to his name, taking down the infantry that deployed. Worth remembering we have another small. Well, I say flanking force. We have a small flanking man over on the west side. Champ just chilling out over there. Help members trying really hard to get inside the cap, but it's it's not enough. And I think they know this at this point. So the question is, do we have 
NEYW getting ready for the attack, and it looks like we do. Commander setting up a little attack FOB. As we have a very disabled looking bulldog here. Missing both of its tracks and its crewmen at the moment. If one is back in. Not sure what he's going to achieve, but. Time will tell, I suppose. Kept still on going here. As help try to force troops in, but it's not quick enough. Zerak falls to YW, and that is a an uh, 89 ticket lead so far to YW. Can help bounce back? That is the big question, or will YW force troops over to first stand and wrap this up? We do have a big force here pushing away at this radio. And as expected, we have a couple of people over here, not many. Just one or two, possibly getting ready for that little push onto first stand. All contact on Tempest has quite rightly ceased. So this is the battle right now. We have dwindling numbers of YW against rapidly reinforcing numbers of help. So we have a Bulldog semi-operational here. Both crewmen are alive, the tracks are repaired, and it looks like they are running away. Good decision for those who would like, you know, to survive. That's why W spawned their reinforcements now that the hab's been cleared out. Got some more of that beautiful machine gun fire coming in over these open fields. But the force that was in here are mostly gone. These mortars. Can we Mers out the hub südlich bekommen? Not the greatest. Nice wide barrage of smoke here, but what this is actually doing is letting YW push up a little bit and start their counter attack. You can already see they've started to have a little look. A few infantry in the BTR here just trading some shots. BTR coming off much worse with a heavy engine hit there. And the ticket gap opening up now in favour of YW. Quick look to see if anything is happening at the first stand. Doesn't look like it right now. Help are redeploying some defensive infantry. And the attack on Serac, it seems, has stalled for now. So, we've gone through the opening stages of this round. Let's take a look at the sheets. You can see YW massively ahead on kills and downs. And even deaths. But help ahead on revives. Could be important. Could not be. We'll, we'll find out. Um, die westliche Hub zu machen und um 7, du kannst ja. auch nach Grindel gehen. 
Bitch, you're having repaired? Looks like it's going for a bit of a stronger repair job. As the YW counter attack seems to just be taking names as it walks through this field. They shouldn't get complacent though, because if we take a look over on the west side of the rack. Looks like we've got a little bit of resistance mounting up. However, they are mounting up under the watchful eye of a heavy machine gun coming from this BRDM. So I want to be careful where they step. And clearly somebody has told YW because also a BTR watching them and half a squad of infantry heading that way. That is going to be a bad time. Cycling over to the east side. No immediate signs of a YW attack onto first stand. In fact, no signs at all right now. All seems to have gone fairly quiet. You know, apart from the mass amounts of machine gun fire over here. Currently nobody inside Serac itself. That's how comfortable YW are feeling right now about their defense. As they come in to try and deal with this FOB. Let's take a look at the strike squad as they go in. Another one down. Bacon falling over at the doorway. Always fairly unfortunate. Crane getting taken off of a rooftop. And JZ going down. Now all I need to do is find the hab. Lock it down, which it looks like Kipman has found the hab. Still two living members of help here right now. Still one living member of help here right now. As I believe the digging is about to begin. <laughs> Da haben wir mehrere Winkel, wo wir reinkommen. Ist aber eben kurz nach dran. Ja, mach. Yeah, that is the beautiful sound of the shovel. Element falls, which means this radio is YW's for the taking, and that will be another 10 ticket loss for help. Still nobody inside Serac, but to be honest, they don't really need anyone right now. Remember, help would need three people inside that cap to capture, and there's currently only one looking like they're remotely interested. So let's swing over here. We have the defensive battle going on. We have Tackleberry and Clayton Bigsby trading some fairly long range shots. Okay, Bits and pieces of a YW squad slowly, slowly pushing through, clearing the compound as they go. Now, let's take a look. We have UAV in the air. We have UAVs in the air. Two of And looking at the timer, it will only be uh, cast strikes available right now. No artillery. And if we take a look, yes, the radio on the west side has gone down. That is 10 tickets. Lost for help. Over here we have a BTR that's looking a little bit um, worse for wear. Was that close? Was that close? Or? Die Schnitt weit geflogen, gell? Pretty sure. No tire damage, just engines. I have a cool single here with his launcher just watching and waiting. Is he going to push the crewman? Will it matter? All these mysteries and more in the Squad Community Cup. So 
So if we take a look back over here, you can see we have a very, very small... Bloody hell. A very, very small probe coming in on the east as the Russian commander decides he doesn't like this compound in particular and absolutely obliterates something. I'm sure there was something there, I just don't know what. Maybe a fob. No, there wouldn't have been an FOB here either, just... Ich hab Green verloren. Just taking a look, I suppose. Actually, I may have taken down the hab. If you look at that. The screen video connected. Yeah, it does appear that if there was a hab here, it's not currently active. Unfortunately, no infantry ready to capitalize on that. Maybe that will come. So a quick glance back at Serac, you can see that, well, a very small defensive force here, they don't need much to be honest because it doesn't look like YW are that interested in attacking, and at a deficit of nearly 200 tickets, they need to be attacking, otherwise they don't stand a chance. can see here YW making a small amount of headway in this compound, just taking out the fractured defenders. They are getting back up though, so these troops want to push forwards if they can. Louis taking down Merkel. Getting taken down in... Ooh. Oof. And now the mortar's raining onto first stand, which is looking a little light on the defense right now. More and more people coming in from the east side. We've got a stronger contingent now on the west. Mortars landing, people's falling, tickets flying out of the window. And it's starting to look like I might be finished early tonight. So we have a bulldog back in contention up here. Oh, we did. It's lost its gunner. Of course, that is the main weakness of the bulldog. The open top means your gunner can just be sniped out of it. Very easily, very cheaply. And we have YW starting to get into this cap. If they do manage to take this, that will be pretty much game for the first round. It would be nice to see if help come out some kind of counter attack against this. As YW begin the slow process of pushing through. Dover Keen up here on top of a roof with a couple of help below him. Calling out an enemy in the street, I'm going to assume that was Hugo. Who just went to say hello to Bulbchu. Bulbchu taking down Hugo and Nimble taking down Bulbchu in return. If we look at numbers in the cap. I'd be very surprised. Uh, die Ost -FOB wird angegriffen aus Süden. No, Grandel is not currently being captured. I thought it would be. Maybe a little bit too much resistance. Rising Dead there calling an enemy south of the eastern FOB. Let's take a look. He's calling it out, but actually there is nobody... Well, there is a long way to the south, but nobody immediately threatening that FOB. Possibly a little bit of bad intel there. 
the gap opens up to more than 200 tickets now. Still no sign of the cap just yet. And that is unfortunate. The Russian commander facing a disconnect. That's likely going to mess with their team's uh, support timers. Which way double you have just pointed out themselves? Auf das Radio lenken, bitte. Das Radio ist Auf das Radio. Ja, copy. Wir versuchen Zappa auch noch ran. Quick glance over at Sirax, just there is still nobody there. What was happening here? So we had a small group just putting the hurt onto this radio. Can't see any C4, but I can see dead friendlies around it. The radio is very down, so nobody's spawning anywhere near that for a little while. Look at the map, Grandel is still not being captured. Help seemingly rallying a little bit on the defense here, but a ticket deficit. Deficit? What's a deficit? These are the mysteries. A ticket deficit of 221. It's not looking good. Now, surely they are capturing at this point. My apologies. Sometimes you just have to sneeze. My apologies, viewers. There we go. Grand Dog goes neutral. Once this falls, that's another minus 30 tickets for help. Plus 30 for YW. We could be looking at a 300 ticket win right now. As the gap opens up massively. Oh, let's take a look here. This may stop it being a 10 ticket, uh, a 300 ticket win if Sem move. I'm going to assume he's a combat engineer because I've played with a gent before and he does tend to be one. Let's find him. He is an engineer. So if he gets this radio and it goes bang. Yep, there's the C4. So that's going to be a 10 ticket loss for YW. It's something at least. It is a positive to take out of this. And YW don't know it yet, but they have already won. As long as I get three people inside Grandel. That's all she wrote. Petrol station radio will get down. The cap of Grand Air steht. Yeah, ja, die haben gerade mit einem Schuss zwei meiner Leute weggeholt. Ich hole die letzte Sekunde. Ganz viel im Feld. There we go. Where are we getting people up okay, so they can continue that cap? Got a strong force out here on the east side of the map. Not sure what they're hoping to achieve there, really, other than a wide defense. When there's this much pressure coming in from the north to the point there are already enemies inside the flag, 
And there we go. 283 tickets to zero. The Russians on in YW taking that lead. Now, let's get the screenshots. So that's it for the first round, folks. In five to ten minutes' time, we'll be back with the second round. So just bear with me until then. I will see you very soon. So with round two getting underway any moment now. So for those just tuning in a little bit late, round one finished. 283 tickets in favour of YW to zero for the British Army, giving YW a hefty advantage going into the second round. And a point already on the scoreboard. It's now a case of seeing how help rebound from that, because they've got a lot of work to do if they want to take anything out of this match. So, let's get underway, shall we? So, fix that. Let's get in there. Gonna wait a moment for all the squads to be made. We'll quickly run through the VIX once again for everybody. So the Russian side, we have a a pair of BTR-80 APCs and a pair of BRDM-2 scout cars, both with big and little machine guns. Three logistics trucks and a six-minute delayed transport. British forces, meanwhile, three bulldogs with 50 cal machine guns, but open top, so they're very risky. Three logistics trucks and a transport delayed by six minutes. So, thoughts on the first round I'm being asked in the chat 15 minutes ago. Well, you can see that both squads went aggressively. Unfortunately, it looks like YW were a little bit more prepared for it to go wrong. They had a sufficient force at Tempest to ensure the cap. Meanwhile, Help had nobody of note at Serac. That, straight away, that cost them the game, I think. If you don't cover your back caps... First few flags, you've got a real problem there. You've got no solid foundation to start on. There's not really anything you can do from there. I mean, it looks like all the squads are made. So I can jump on in. And let's get having a look-see at the vehicle choices for the second round. So as we approach the German speakers... Once again, it looks to be every vehicle being deployed. That is three Bulldogs and three Lodgies on the British side. And if we shoot our weeps up onto the Russian starting line. He says, waiting 12 years to actually make it there. Here we can see what looks like, yep, every vehicle here as well getting ready to go. Take a look at the pretty lines on the map. Nothing from help. It's like a much more conservative strategy here so far, being played out by the Lodgies from YW. A very similar tactic, it appears, to what help did in the first round, except they're actually sending a decent force to Serac. So if we get ourselves into the middle of the map, we'll hover over Tempest. We've got just a minute left on the staging phase, as we'll get ready to see the deployments in action. So, perhaps somewhat questionably, there is no commander on the Russian side right now. Flakensberg has taken command on the British, again, for YW. We'll see how that pays off. Just 15-ish seconds left on the staging phase, and engines will start burning. Hopefully not because they take rockets. We'll see. Ooh, 
Ooh, that's an unpleasant amount of ping. Oh well. And here they go. Vehicles pushing out of the assorted main bases. In the conga line of death and destruction. See the British Lodges, looks like two pushing Serac to start with. Maybe one will be moving off a little. One pushing forwards of Grandel, looks like the Bulldogs handling the back caps quite sensibly. For the British. We take a look at the Russians, we've got a small force straight into Tempest here. A single medic back capping stone bend. Nobody at ruins yet, but it looks like there will be someone there soon. And a strong push on the western side. As I realized, I was actually floating over market and not Tempest because I am smart. So we've got a couple of vehicles going straight into the fight. BTR and a scout Warrior car over here. And the BTR straight down. No mercy from the YWATs right there. Keep in mind the Vix couldn't wolf pack that good because one gun had disconnected. Also it's only one Vic flip. Yeah, one Vic flip. Okay, I need to see man. this. Lots of contacts east of Tempest Gate. Oh dear, that's not what you want to see. A scout car adopting the natural pose on its roof. I'm sure they'll get it sorted in no time at all. Well, you know, the 45 seconds it takes to unflip a vehicle. So, YW fully controlling Serac again, but this time from the correct side. And already starting to push little probing forces north to see what they can do at Tempest. They're also taking command of the field and the compound to the east. Here comes a bulldog ready to lay down some hurt. A pick of a 50 cal machine gun. West of market. And this is gonna do a large run. So one, do you need any uh, visual support? There we go, stone band captured, first stand captured, and we're on to the next one. Yes! Try to walk back with the yeah, BRM, we need to head back, we need to go back. AT's doing more damage yeah, here. We're going to get a repair station on the west side of market for you. We'll be up in about five minutes. Bulldog just sending some wild rounds out, staying down to enjoy a life. This bulldog has command of that field. Coming in from the southeast on Tempest. And there is a full force pushing into Tempest. Southeast is the least of their worries. Serac has the bare minimum. We do have mortars up already. We have Campfass and Spoonie firing. The shells of death straight into Tempest on the east side. If they added just a little bit of range, they might be hitting that hab, but they seem pretty happy with what they're doing so far. Another fantastic bit of shooting from a bulldog. Different one this time. I'm a big dum dum. I apologise. 
Aha, and the commander has finally registered for command. Took a little longer than it should have done. So, full scale push going on here. Very small group of YW on the east side, but they're pushing into a lot of help infantry and seems to be getting the better of it so far. I want to be careful because Rambo has already found the hab. He's down, but here's the backup. Most of the helmets are very much active. The south, you can see people still pushing in. We've got people on the west, the northwest. Tempest here getting itself surrounded. So once again, I mean, the help have learned from their mistakes, and they've actually put people on the caps they need to take. But they're defending too centralized, in my opinion. They need to be pushing out a little bit. You gotta have people on those flanks and three or four guys. Enemies in the hab on uh, Sometimes Tempest. it's just not enough. Okay, all squads pull out a tempest, we're just burning tickets there. Rocket push the south marked. side. And it's often on said that you can't enemy SL button about. It's often said that you can't win a game by defending. Yeah, now, personally I don't think that's true, but that's what we can all agree on is the fact that you can definitely lose one by yeah. not defending. Now what's gonna happen here? Nashorn and Wooda? Wooda shoots first, but here comes Kartoffelman, and Wooda goes down. So it should be a clean take on this hab for YW. Especially if Mr. Moose over on this side of the town doesn't respond. Checking up here then. YW just pushing slowly towards this FOB. A little bit of covering fire coming in there from one of the vehicles. And a delicious shot. Fairly long range there. It looks like Hubble Vorbeck giving up on Tempest now. Just one remaining soldier in here. Let's make a fucking cancerous defense, lads. They come, he's not there he goes, he bled out. The hab is down, the fob is being destroyed. It looks like help right now shelling their own hab. It's fairly sensibly. But the radio's gone. And so Tempest will be falling to the British. It's gonna open up yet another ticket deficit. Got some small amounts of defense here. On this secondary FOB on the west side. Let's zoom in a little. We have Louis on a machine gun just taking aim, but there is a full fire team pushing up towards him. And he's not looking the right way. However, he does have help on his flank. Sensibly, he's now backing off. That's that's what we want to see. Communication between the people. So, mark it. Absolutely swarming with help, help infantry, but again, they're not covering their northwest or their north. Or even their west, really. Which means they are very, very vulnerable, especially when the radio is here. I mean... 
That's just sloppy defense. There we go. Tempest falls to the Brits. Ticket gap opens up once again. And remember, YW bringing in a 283 ticket lead into the second round. Squad 4, see if you can push southeast along that road and secure like D4 in that building. After absolute domination in the first. Copy. Bulldog's now grouped up and firing together. We've got send move over here, looking but not finding. Unfortunate for him. Yeah, the master bulldogs here just keeping this field nice and clear, firing over the heads of their friendlies. Superb joint arms attacking right there. Not sure what the point of these smoke mortars is, really. All they're doing is making it harder for help to kill them. Cycle back around to the western flank. You see people have been taking casualties over here. YW renewing their push slightly. These boys have walked a long way. A lot of people dropping in this field. Some very badly injured, some just downed. As it appears, a scout car's going back into play. And the streamer must take a drink because this is thirsty work. And here come the Bulldogs, taking names once again. Uh, BTRs, you can make a vehicle repair station at the ruins if you want. What did you say to you? you We've got forces just trickling up ruins, to the north right now. YW slowly getting closer and closer to the help FOB up here. Apologies for any wind tunnel sound effects, no, folks. Help, help, okay? Unfortunately, I am burning up a little bit because I'm not actually well at the moment. So I've had to put my fan on. Apologize for the sounds. Now, you can see A, YW making good progress up here, but B, all of help have pushed out. Right. I know I said in the last round, Great, you can't yeah, defend everything from inside the cap. But you definitely can't defend with nothing inside the cap. Thank you. That is just asking for disaster. Such minimal numbers there. Well, uh, I think you called that out, CG, but with uh, Logic East side of market. Here we come the Bulldogs. Got a scout car down, little bits of infantry around. And they're quite right, we have YW inside the market compound. Now, there is a scout car hunting. And there is an AT hunting back. Solid poke on the nose of that scout car. Does have a BTR behind it, ready to back it up. Should the worst happen. YW completely overrunning this path down on the southeast side of market. There's no resistance from help here right now. As their defensive forces start pushing back in, YW have the foothold they needed. Once again, there's no defense here on Tempest, but YW 
are fairly sensible to think they don't need it. The only person even remotely looking like they're attacking is Spooker. And he's got half a squad watching him. So, so far he is he was winning that battle. I think Banana Phone may have just settled the discussion somewhat. As the YW forces push up building to building. Help need to realise that the cap here is actually very small, it's just that single central compound. And nobody alive from either team is in it, so it's anybody's. All YW needs to do is find a way across the road, and the amount of infantry they have coming in, that is not going to be difficult at the moment. Uh, where do we have a repair station? Squad 3, be careful. You are literally next to squad 7. Bulldogs here demolishing resistance as it comes out of the fields. Mortar's very optimistically trying to hit the Bulldogs, and that... I, I hate to tell the Mortar Gunners, that is not going to work. Okay, it killed the gunners, but it didn't kill the vehicles. Royden there trying to be an absolute we hero. Unfortunately, he couldn't on. pull it off. That hand going down is intentional, don't worry. So it looks like they're striking their own FOB on the west. Probably a good call. YW do keep trying to take it off them, and you know, if you can avoid losing ten tickets, it is the preferred option. Now, unfortunately for help, the bulldogs are coming back into operation right now. Two are currently uh, active. Six, One, uh, not quite, but it's coming up now. <laughs> Get the class, sir. Those big maps south of market are accurate. Yes, they are. Scout car heading back to me. You just see a very, very small close quarters war happening in here. In the <laughs> thick of the mortar smoke. This is what six heading for repair at the middle. Some fantastic uh, tactical you work right here. Squad 7, what did you just. Uh, did you encounter something against Stone Band? Yep. Did you destroy it? Uh, yeah, yes, yes. Okay. They say they destroyed we something to, on Stone Band, but I see impossible. two infantry and I see them alive. Help, calling for a resupply on market. Good luck getting any lodges through to here right now. Because YW are getting very close to your cap. Just the methodical way that they're working their way forwards is really something quite beautiful to see. It's slow, it's steady, they're not rushing, they're just pushing up, covering each other, picking up their wounded as they fall, it really is fantastic. And they've even got, look at this, boulders, brass, they've got a bulldog sat here, looking so chilled in the middle of the street, not a care in the world that he's in an open top vehicle. Because he doesn't need to care, he's got control. We really need a friendly Vic on the south side of uh, Market. Go, Enemy Vic's and infantry are just absolutely screwing us at the moment. No amount of friendly Vic's are going to kill that! Happy we're on the way. Apologies, they did the thing.
mod shots coming in, but right now... All squads on mark, be advised your enemies flanking to your west. Yep, enemies flanking to the west, and the north, and the northeast, and... Heavy push on the south, and actually... Ooh, here we go. BTR in a scout car against a bulldog. Bulldog has lost its gunner, but that front armor, well... I can see the shots coming in, but they're not doing much. And why would they? A bulldog has thick ass armor plates on it. Armor, you can get real nice with your ammo on market. Drop your ammo on market. Someone in my chat yeah, was saying ammo. earlier in the match Hostile that Hostile they ruins. need to balance the vehicle play on this map. I think these Bulldogs are doing a damn good job of showing that that is not true. Because these Bulldogs, combined with the ATs, are absolutely trashing it. And if we look here, there's still no infantry from help inside the cap itself. One more from YW and they start capping. That's how desperate the situation is right now, and it looks like that backup might be on the way. I have here, completely overrun. Robin and Ryzen taking it down as quickly as they can, and Ryzen, he has the big booms on his back, which means when they find that radio, situation is about to unfold. It looks like right now Pringles from help has saved the hab. If he can get it back up without molestation to put not too fine a point on it. Another Bulldog loses its gunner as the help vehicles start to rally and remember what they're supposed to be doing. Not sure what Thrandar's plan is here, but... Possibly wait for them to run out of ammo. And the mortars begin again. We do have UAVs up. We have Cass coming in on the stranded bulldog here. We have Cass coming in on the enemy hab here. So if I come here, we could see both. Scout car down, scout car down. There's one vehicle. Here come the planes, I think. There's the rocket strike, depriving a bulldog of its existence. And there's the A-10. Hab's got C4. Well, that... It didn't get C4 anyway, then. That looked painful. That's a lot of help corpses down there. Having been on the receiving end of a you number of those, you do not want to get shot by the A-10. It hurts. Should fill it in the fields, northeast. Your screen goes from green to black very quickly. So, just a quick reminder, this is match one on week one of the SEC season five. We have YW currently on the British side in red. Remember to make rallies. We have no they have a 283 ticket lead from the first round and they're currently winning 224 um, to 109. 
against Help on the blue side. This is just the first of four matches happening this week. If we take a little look at the schedule real quick. Do you have MG contacts inside the ruins? We have tomorrow. We have Coalition Francophone versus We Love Squad at the same time as today. Then Thursday we have two matches. Misfit Platoon versus Hasaria and Rusty in Places versus Band of Bastards. Tomorrow, make it north of ruins. So tomorrow, if you want to watch that match, that is Valrock. Here's your man. Link will be in the SEC Discord as normal. Thursday's matches will be streamed by me and by a motive meerkat from SR, part of the Help Coalition. Copy that. We're heading there now. Now, why are you storming on into the cap? Um, I've got a marker down. Don't be keen and so we on the radio. Okay, Zoe on the radio. Don't be keen watching the door, that makes sense. So, they won't be spawning any reinforcements in here unless they're using rallies, which means... Market is about to fall in favour of... British. I think this is pretty much going to decide the result of this first match. It is going to be a heavy defeat for help, but a fantastic start for the season for YW. Do we have contacts already on ruins, guys? Well, let's take it. I think that's an understatement. Full fire team here at Ruins. No FOB. Gonna level with you. I have no idea what's happening here. This is not a cap. And there's uh, just, just a blob of infantry and for no apparent reason. This is the sort of thing that yeah. confuses you as a caster. You know, why are they there? What are they doing? There's YW already turning their sights up to ruins. More and more troops coming north. No help forces in sight I'm here. Um, probably. Um, um, yeah. If so, Squad 5, can you come back and grab another squad? Two from another squad. Once you sit down, you rally. Don't know what's gone wrong here, to be honest, for help. It's really difficult to make that sort of judgement when you have no intel. As the market goes neutral, 65 tickets left for help, it'll be 30-ish. Th by the time market flips. And if the forces are already on, ruins, I think. It's an early night for all involved. Do we have a... Is my map glitched, or is... Is there brother two in the lodge stuck there? However, it looks like... It looks like YW might be taking pity on help. And taking out their own troops. I'm just saying it's, it's we'll showing up see. as uh, some is in it. So I don't yeah. know if that's a jit. He's showing up as he's staying there with the lodgy. Is that just me saying Yeah, that? he's not in the lodgy, it's glitched. Oh, oh well, that's, that's very unfortunate. Yeah. Because I was. I couldn't. It wouldn't let me drive it. Oh, that's rough. I think oh, he's it's... the only one on the entire like of our team that can drive it because it's glitched his name in the seat. Oh, my dad is shot. Oh, yeah. Anyway, so. I'm going to try and get oh, okay. down. Well, that's bad news for help, unfortunately. If one of the lodges is glitched out, it's unfortunate, but. Not much that can be done. Mark will be falling be any second now. We have to get that lodge and get squad leaders in that thing so they can cheat down rallies. I say they might be able to save ruins, but I'm looking at this and. Three people facing the entire team across open fields will be able to hold that. Help not flanking, not thinking tactically about this at all. It looks like they're just panicking, to be honest. 
It's a shame. You don't like to see it. You don't like to see a game this unbalanced. But hopefully, there are good lessons to be learned here and help them bounce back in the second one. We will see. Where do we have the requisite three people inside ruins? Actually, they have four, so they are neutralizing. Just 21 tickets left for help. This is over. And even Stonebend is in the hands of the enemies right now. They don't stand a chance, unfortunately. Squad 7 will be taking a scout car. Uh, we have 20 tickets. So, yep, correct call it there. 20 tickets left. YW still capturing up here. They're even bringing up a Logi to drop an FOB now. Just to consolidate. Of course, they have no way of knowing there's only 19 tickets left on the help side. Yes, yeah, so there's going to be some very difficult discussions had, I think, in the help camp after this match. Fifteen to go. Now, if help had a little bit of sense, they'd start giving people up and not give that extra 30 tickets to YW as soon as it goes neutral. Got more than enough people ready to give up. There we go. Ruins is neutral. Half expecting to hear an order of give up now. Please push on, bud. Ten tickets left. What is happening here? Hello. Hold up. <laughs> Should we protect Looks me? like Tisky and Johnny are going balls deep. Yeah, we we'll just stay in cover <laughs> so they don't get more kills. I have to be trying to stop this cap, and they're in a good position to do it. Claiming a few extra tickets with the lot destruction of this lodgy. They've pushed out of the cap. Which means they're now not stopping the cap. Johnny, Hit keep me. <laughs> At least they're being good sports about this. As the AT gets ready to send a little bit of justice into the arse end of that scout car. If he has a rocket, he may be going to resupply right now. Surely the scout car knows that he's not in the cap. Ooh, just short on that rocket. Unfortunate there for Dover Keen. He has persuaded the enemy to sod off. At least for a moment. And there we go. Armour falling off the scout car right there. Can the ATs reload? Because he's coming back for another crack. And there we go. Just out of time. <sighs> Five hundred and fifty one tickets to zero is the result. 
Thank you for the giveaways. I'll be out. Good night. So, good efforts. Congratulations to YW on taking the top spot in the leaderboard for now. Don't forget we still have three more matches to come this week. Commiserations to help. At times they fought valiantly. They looked like they might have been able to make a bit of a comeback. But alas, it was not on the cards this week. So, thank you very much for watching. Remember, tomorrow we have a match being hosted by Valrock. That will be Coalition Francophone versus We Love Squad Community. Then on Thursday, Misfit Platoon versus Hasaria will be over on Twitch TV slash Emotive Meerkat. And Rusty in Places vs. Band of Bastards will be right here. All of those matches, 18.30 UTC, that is 19.30 UK time, 20.30 Central European. But for me, for now, that is everything. So thank you very much for watching, everybody. I hope you've enjoyed the match. And I'll see you again soon. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.